Welcome to Real Science for Kids, video experiments for pre-level 1 chemistry. You're watching experiment 2 from your lab workbooks titled, Follow the Rules. This is Discovering Real Science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller, and this is my assistant, Jackie. Today, we're going to be looking at making models of molecules with marshmallows and toothpicks. And in fact, lots of different people build models. Architects build models to model buildings. Um, engineers build models to model bridges. And in science, model building is really an important part of helping scientists better understand how the world works. And so today, we're going to use marshmallows and we're going to use toothpicks to model molecules. But before we actually use the marshmallows and toothpicks, we're going to think about what it means to build a model and what we might expect to get before we build it. The first question asks you, if you could use as many toothpicks and as many marshmallows as you wanted, how many different shapes do you think you could make? Well, if I could use as many toothpicks and as many marshmallows as I wanted to, I know I could build lots of different shapes. I think I could probably build at least 100 shapes. Maybe I could even build like 200 shapes or maybe even like 10,246 shapes. In fact, I could build as many shapes as I wanted to because I, if I had an infinite supply of marshmallows and an infinite supply of toothpicks, I could just build and build and build. So the next question is that asks if you could only use three toothpicks, okay, so I have three toothpicks, how many shapes do you think I could make? How many different models could I make with three toothpicks? What do you think, Jackie? How many molecules do you think we could make with three? Well, I'm pretty sure I could make at least one, maybe two, maybe four. I'm gonna say I could make five marshmallows, or five models, if I used three toothpicks. If you could only use two toothpicks, how many shapes do you think you could make? Well, two toothpicks. So if I had to use two toothpicks, uh, well, I could probably, I know I can at least build one molecule, maybe two molecules. I would say three molecules. I think I can build at least three molecules if I use two toothpicks. Question four asks, if you could only use one toothpick, how many shapes do you think you could make? Well, what do you think, Jackie? If I could only use one toothpick, I'm pretty sure I could probably only build one molecule. And then the last question asks, what if you could not use any toothpicks at all? Could I build any shapes? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I can't use any toothpicks, I can't build any molecules. So I'm going to say zero. I can't build any molecules at all if I can't use any toothpicks. Make as many different molecules as you can with the marshmallows and toothpicks. Okay, so this is the fun part. I get as many toothpicks as I want and I get as many marshmallows as I want. Okay, so I'm using big marshmallows. I'm actually using these colored toothpicks. And my assistant, Jackie, is deciding whether or not these molecules are good or bad. She is the quality control cat. But you see, I can make as many different shapes as I want. There are no rules to follow, no rules to break. I could make as many different marshmallow molecules as I want if I use um, as many different marshmallows or toothpicks. So I can make all different kinds of molecules I can make long ones, I can make snake molecules, I can make ones with three, I can make ones with four, I can make odd shaped ones, I could even build them tall and make as many different uh, marshmallow molecules as I wanted to. Okay, so the second question asks, this time you can only put three toothpicks into the big marshmallow, and following this rule, make as many different marshmallow molecules as you can. This time I have a rule to follow. I have a big marshmallow and I can only put three toothpicks into it. So I'll put three toothpicks in here. One, two, three. So that would be one molecule that I make. And I have another 
marshmallow. And I'm going to put three more toothpicks, but this time I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to put two together and one on top. And you can see I still have three toothpicks in the marshmallow, so that's still following the rule. And I'm going to add two more marshmallows, so that's a marshmallow molecule. So you can see that's another molecule I can make. I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm going to put all three toothpicks together. So that's another molecule I can make. Following that still follows the rule. I only have three toothpicks in this one marshmallow. Okay, so this one is flat. It has three, but I can make a shape that isn't flat, that doesn't sit flat on the table by putting the toothpicks at an angle. And the marshmallows on the ends, and it still follows the rules, still only has three toothpicks, but now it sits upright, so it's a very different molecule than this one. So I might be able to stretch these into six different molecules. So this one is a little different than this one. But it is getting a lot harder. So I would say that, you know, right now I've been able to make six. Question three says, now I can only use two toothpicks to make my molecules. So I'm going to put one toothpick in the big marshmallow and two the big marshmallow, and I'll use the little marshmallows, like so. So that's one molecule I can make, and I can do this, one here and one here. So I have this molecule. So that's two, and I could do two together in a little marshmallow like that. So that's three, but it's getting a lot harder when I follow the rule that I can only use two toothpicks in the big marshmallow. I think with two toothpicks I can only make three molecules. Question four says, now you can only put one toothpick into the big marshmallow. So following this rule, how many different molecules can I make? Well, I can only use one toothpick and one big marshmallow. So really I can only make one molecule if I'm required to use only one toothpick. If we look at the molecules that we made following rules and the molecules that we made not following the rules, we can see that a couple are the same. But most of them are different. You can see that this one is very different and this one is very different than any of the molecules that I made. So what happens when we have to follow the rules? Well, it turns out that you can make a lot fewer molecules when you follow the rules than when you don't follow the rules. And this is what's valuable when we think about using models. Using these different models, we were able to see that the number of molecules that we could make following the rules is far fewer than the number of molecules we could make not following the rules. And in chemistry, this is really important because everything that you see around us is made of atoms and molecules. And all of the atoms and molecules follow rules. In fact, if they didn't follow rules, we would just have a lot of chaos out there. Well, thanks for joining me. It was fun making a lot of different marshmallow molecules with you. And join me next week when we look at experiment three and we find out what will happen when we add different liquids together. That'll be fun. Hope to see you then. Discovery in Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Visit us at webbizvideos.com. Whatever happened to the cat? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jackie? What do you think of these molecules? Are those kind of interesting? Don't eat them. I get to eat them. Kitty. Where's the marshmallow molecule? Well, it looks like I lost my assistant. She knocked one of my molecules off the table and left. Ah, mystery solved. Mmm, marshmallows. <laughs>